Hi guys, Richard from Digital Foundry here with an overview of our first gaming DirectX 12 benchmark. A series of scripted sequences from the upcoming Ashes of the Singularity. It's a highly CPU intensive game that features a huge amount of different units in play at any given point, an excellent workout for DX12 support for multi-threaded draw calls. There are a multitude of different testing methods and hardware configurations we can use to test the improvements that DX12 brings to the table. But we've chosen to benchmark AMD's Radeon R9 390 running the game at medium settings in combination with two CPUs, a Core i7-4790K and a far less capable Core i3-4130. The bad news is that we're limited to VSync testing, owing to the benchmark refusing to run for us with VSync disabled on DX12, so top end frame rates are limited to 60fps, not that we actually reach that level too often. However, even with this handicap the results are something of a revelation. Average frame rates with the Core i3 processor rise from 24fps to 40fps, a 67% boost to performance. On top of that, even the i7 sees a huge increase, rising from an average of 28fps up to 49fps. In both cases, lowest recorded frame rates double, from 12 to 29fps on the i3 and from 15 to 32fps on the i7. What's interesting to note is that the benchmark also gives us a CPU performance rating in DX12. It's an average of 79 FPS on the i7 and 42 FPS on the i3. This tells us that even at medium settings the GPU is still the bottleneck on the i7, but on the i3 side of things the R9390 is fairly closely matched to the processor. But probably the biggest takeaway from the graph is that the i3 running DX12 is significantly outperforming the i7 on DX11 with the same GPU running the same game at the same settings. On the one hand, this does demonstrate that DX12 is going to be a really big deal. But on the other hand, we've been talking for some time that driver performance on AMD cards in DX11 is something of an issue. This contributes significantly to the gulf we're seeing here. To illustrate the issue, in the same benchmark, Nvidia's DX11 performance on a GTX 970 is 28% faster on the i3 and an even higher 45% faster on the i7. Bearing in mind that the GTX 970 is generally a slower card on a hardware level than the R9 390, that's absolutely remarkable stuff. So that's our first look at actual DX12 performance in a game engine. Doubtless there'll be a lot more coming soon, but in the meantime give us a thumbs up if you like the vid and subscribe to Digital Foundry for more PC and console tech analysis. Right now, thanks for watching.